This got to be the biggest one of your career, right? Definitely the biggest one of my career so far. Uh, still got a lot of time, so we'll see how big I can get. You dropped him in the first round. Obviously, you knew Joseph had come off a long layoff. Was that kind of the game plan, that was strong start like that, to really come after him and see, you know, how he was going to react after 18 months away? Uh, no, I mean, honestly, the game plan was just to go out there and strike the guy. I'll strike him and do what I'm good at. He came at me really hard, so I hit him a lot harder than what I thought I was going to. Um, definitely wanted to go out there and get a finish, you know, um, against number one. And I've been getting these decisions, so it's something that i got to improve on and get better at as I grow. What did you think of the decisions? What decision did you think you had, or were you nervous? I was nervous, obviously, man. Uh, anytime he goes to the judges, you never know who's judging the fight. And he did have some uh, good cage control and some takedowns in there, so I didn't know how they were going to judge it. Uh, definitely hit him with a lot of precise shots, and you can see in his face that I was hitting pain and hitting him mean. Were you surprised that he survived in the first? Um, you know what? I kind of took off a little bit on him. Like I, I hit him with that strike, and I know Joe is very dangerous, especially when he is hurt. So, um, you know, I, I hit him hard, and I kind of played it safe a little bit. Jeffrey should have uh, ambushed him a little bit and tried to get the finish. In hindsight, why did you do that? Um, I'm just a smart fighter out there, man. I, I'm very uh, calculated with my strikes. I take very calculated risk, and that's just something that I've been doing my whole life, point fighting. So. Um, you know, it's something that I, I, I want to improve on and get better at. And I'm excited to show you guys the more I grow into the sport. So do you regret that? Do you feel like if you went harder at him in the first, you could have finished it? I mean, I could have finished it. I don't regret it because I got the win. But uh, I'm sure if I would have lost, I would have regretted it. So as of now, I don't regret it. I got the W. Obviously, your first time fighting him in, a, in an actual fight, I know you trained with him back in the day. You've been yeah. watching him. Did that seem like the same, Joseph, uh, considering the layoff and the injury? How would you assess him? I think he did good, man. I think he went out there and he, he fought someone that was different. You know, he's used to fighting guys that are going to wrestle with him and getting these you know, close brawls, these close little strange brawls. And uh, I went out there and maintained range and I showed him what range fighting was about. You also said that uh, recently the, the, the fight against Hugo is one of the more frustrating hits yes. in your career. Does that experience make you appreciate a moment like this or whatever, Joseph? 100%, 100%. You know, um, that, that night was just a bad night for me. I went out there and got in my head and got glued to the floor. Uh, tonight, you guys saw my improvement, you know, against Cejudo, I mean, against Benavides. So, definitely a learning lesson that I'm gonna take with me for the rest of my career and keep growing, like I said, as I grow up in the sport. I'm only 24 years old, body willing and God willing, and see how long I can take this and see how far I can really take the sport. So, winner of DJ Cejudo? 100%. That's what I want. I mean, that's what Benavides was looking forward to after this fight. I went out here and got the job done, and I believe that's what's next for me. Uh, I just have one more. Sorry. In the past, you said like. I'm there, but I'm not. Maybe I'll take one more for DJ. You haven't been very vocal. Now I feel like you're a lot more vocal about wanting it. What's different about you now than a year ago when you were right now? It's just the, the right timing now, I believe. I'm growing up, man. I'm about to be 25. I got goals that I set for myself that I want to accomplish. And by 26, I want to have a belt around my, my waist. Um, so we'll see. You know, hope I can keep doing what I'm doing and just keep improving. Right now, it's just having fun with it, man. You know, I was putting a lot of pressure on myself in the beginning of my career put a lot of pressure that I had to take these big fights and win these big fights and now things are coming at the right time and the right maturity as myself and the right growth in the sport I think uh, like I said it's, it's just everything's playing out further. So earlier this week Dana said he wanted to go back to the old ways. Uh, your brother said he wanted to keep the early ones. I didn't get a chance to talk to him immediately today. Uh, what are your thoughts? On I hope it doesn't go back to the old ways. Uh, Nine o'clock is better, you know. It just makes the athletes have to be more strict on the timing. You know, this is the weight cuts. They're always tough, but you got to get it done. And if it's time from nine to eleven, why not? Four o'clock, you only get less than twenty-four hours to rehydrate, and the brain needs, I think, seventy-two hours to completely rehydrate. So it's safer for the fighters from nine to eleven, I believe. So I hope they don't do that. Yeah. Thank you guys. Appreciate. It. I'm gonna get some ice cream now. <laughs>